Casey's dad is a doctor and he warned her about the risks of melanoma and indoor tanning. I found it very helpful when I went to the doctor and she told me the ABCs and what to look for on my skin that I could possibly relay the message to my friends and to show them and to teach them what they need to look for themselves. Knowing what to look for mm -hmm. is how to either detect melanoma early or to help prevent it. Um, so basically what you want to look for is, um, like I mentioned before, the ABCDEs. So when you have a mole, just a regular mole, um, A is for asymmetry. So if you cut the mole in half, it's going to look the same on both sides. Um, that's what A stands for. B is for border. So you want to make sure your mole has a nice smooth border around it and not jagged. C is for color. Usually um, something that's normal, a normal looking mole is going to have the same color throughout. But if you have areas of light brown and dark brown, well that's a red flag as well. Um, D is for diameter. So we usually don't like to see our moles um, bigger than six millimeters, which is actually the edge of a pencil eraser. So if you notice anything like that, then that's something mm -hmm. to look out for as well. And E is actually, in my opinion, the most important, which is evolution. So anything that you've noticed changing, the size could be changing, even if you've noticed a new mole or you think it's growing, these are all signs to look for to have it and come and have it checked. Okay. Um, especially at the high school and college level, you know, they're not young, they're not babies anymore. And I think sort of delving deep and doing a comparison and contrast would really help them to understand what they actually want to look for.